All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be an unboxing of the Savox SC1258 TG Servo. Now, this servo is definitely my go-to servo for any kind of short course application. I plan to be running this brand new one here in my new Traxxas slash 4x4 Platinum Edition. Uh, this servo is definitely second to none when it comes to short course trucks and what I mean by that is I have had probably this is my fourth 1258 not including I've had two 1257s now that I've been running in other different one tenth scale buggies so uh, definitely keep that in mind this is definitely my go-to servo for short course um, the 1258 let's let's go over some of the specs really quick before we open this thing up we're going to try and focus here with that plastic wrap. So specs on this thing, speed 0 0.08, torque 166.6, so let's call that 167. So I, I can't really tell you how well this thing works in short course trucks, and especially with the quickness and the amount of torque it has. And I've ran this thing in anywhere from a five pound ish uh, short course truck all the way up to my new Techno which is weighing in right under seven pounds and it has performed flawlessly. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this thing up. I've not actually done an unboxing of this 1258 yet even though this is the fourth or fifth one now that I've owned. So let's open this thing up. Let's see what you get inside the box. Let's do some close up shots of that 1258 and uh, we'll go from there. So um, you know, these, these boxes, I, I think I've said it before as well as I slice open the plastic wrap on it. Um, these boxes are great, and what I particularly use them for is, um, once I use the servo, is I use these little plastic boxes to kind of collect, um, you know, all the, the screws and hardware and some of the smaller parts when I'm working on my truck. That way I don't lose anything. Um, you know, when, when you're actually working on it. So especially when you're doing like a teardown, you're building diffs, you're working on your shocks. And, you know, I kind of clean up as I go and I kind of throw everything in here, have it all ready for the next day that I work on my truck. Because there's not too many times where things uh, fall off your bench or who knows what. So definitely a cool little feature that they include with this. Um, inside here, let's go ahead and pull this whole thing out. There's that great box. So inside here, it's kind of like this like maze of uh, cardboardish type things. They're great graphics, of course. Savox, um, I I just I'm definitely a believer in their servos. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can't pull this thing out. It's kind of wrapped in here with the cord. Let's do some boring stuff first. I always like to get that out of the way. Kind of go from there. So in here you have all of your hardware. This is going to be the mounting screws, the little rubber grommets there and whatnot. And uh, I definitely dig the really wide kind of uh, screws that they include to keep that servo well mounted in there. So that's pretty cool. So there's all the screws and whatnot that you get with it. Now next on to all the different servo horns. Now, Samox uses a 25 tooth spline, uh, same as Futaba. So you got anything that's marked 25, that'll definitely work with it. But they do give you a couple of items in here that will kind of get you started if you happen not to have anything. So pretty cool. You'll also find your screw in there and the little um, anti-back out type uh, uh, little washer that comes with it too. So kind of like a locking washer. So that's all inside that little bag. Um, Inside here, you do get like a little business card looking thing from Savox, basically telling you about the warranty. I did check out their website, and they actually have a pretty cool little thing where you would fill out um, a request for a warranty and kind of send that in. So that's pretty cool. So that's included with it. Nice little warranty. Got all my sticker sheets here. Definitely love these. I like to advertise that I like Savox because I definitely know these things and I definitely appreciate. The product that they're putting out and without further ado let's get this servo out of here and take a look at it now I've probably been running these 1258s here for God, probably a year and a half now and I've, I've really been impressed with 
the, just the quickness of them. They're super fast. You got that nice aluminum case right there. That's not, not for good looks. It's also to help dissipate heat, keep this thing running as cool as possible. Now this is a full digital servo and it also is brushless and cordless. So that's all the little badging right there. Digit 496, 4096 cordless servo. That basically means that uh, once you start moving the servo, it's going to move quicker with more torque right out of the gate. Savox Digital. Digital, once again, means kind of like uh, um, it's constantly going to find that center point. And now one of the downfalls of Savox is everyone complains that they're noisy. Well, they are. And, you know, I appreciate the noise because it's keeping my servo lined up and keeping my wheel straight. So, you know, you're not really riding inside the RC car and hearing the noise. But some people complain about that. Ah, it doesn't bug me at all. So once again, digital, just super nice. Titanium gears inside, I mean, that's going to be second to none as far as uh, durability and how long this thing is going to last. Once again, specs on this thing, 0 0.08 seconds, that's, that's super fast. And a 166.6 inch ounces of torque. So that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. I'm going to be mounting this thing up here as we speak in my new Traxxas Slash. And that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments about this servo or the RC network, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.